Hey everyone, this is Exploring Fiction, and welcome back to another video. If you've seen my spoiler-free video on Season 5 of Cobra Kai, you'll know that I thought the first half of the season was a bit shaky, but the second half was some of the best Cobra Kai we've ever seen. So guys, this video is my spoiler-filled thoughts on Season 5 of Cobra Kai. So, like it says in the title, it'll have spoilers all across this video, so you have been warned. So, if you want to know my spoiler-free thoughts, you should check out that video on the channel. But anyway, let's get right into my spoiler-filled thoughts on Season 5 of Cobra Kai. And let's get right into what worked for me and what didn't. First, the Miguel Goes to Mexico storyline. At the end of Season 4, we were led to believe that Miguel going to find his dad would be this huge story that would help define who he is, but it ended up being a shell of that idea. Miguel's dad was, and still is, a bad and dangerous dude, and all Miguel found out was what his mother already told him. At least Miguel and Robbie's relationship began to develop more from it all. Speaking of which, Miguel and Robbie becoming friends, and the way they did it, aka fighting out their differences, worked very well, and though it was a bit of a quick turnaround, Rivals to Friends worked this time, for me at least. Uh, early in the season, Chosen was probably my favorite character, because he seemed so lovable but dangerous, all at the same time. And speaking of older characters, the reintroduction of Mike Barnes, though making narrative sense, felt a bit shoehorned, but his reappearance in the finale made it better for me. Moving along, once Daniel fights Terry Silver for the first time and gets badly beaten, that's when the season really heats up. That fifth episode is one of the best Cobra Kai episodes ever. And after getting beaten by Silver, Daniel Russo is an example of a broken hero done right. Hollywood has been failing at this for years, but we've watched Daniel be the unwavering fighter for the entirety of the show, but now he feels alone in his fight against his most deadly enemy, and when he gets beaten, it proves his point and breaks his spirit all at once. Only then does his wife, and Chosen, and Johnny really understand the problem, but now Daniel has given up. I love seeing him come back from that and defeat Silver in the end. Speaking of which, having that be the final fight of the finale was genius, and it felt like Daniel finally got out from under a cloud that was hanging over him for a lifetime. And also, like I said in my spoiler free review, Johnny finally felt like a hero in this season. This whole show has really been about Johnny becoming a good guy, but this season really did it for me because now he has something to fight for, his baby with Carmen. He's taking responsibility, and he's moving past his petty rivalry with Daniel, finally. In the late part of the season, John Kreese impressed me. He gave you the idea that he was finally changing in prison, only for him to escape and come out looking like an even worse guy for it in the end. And speaking of antagonists, Kenny really elevated to a character you love to hate. Yeah, he got really beat up and put down last season, but in this season, there was really nothing redeemable about him. I can't wait to see if Robbie can finally get through to him. But, the character that glued this season together was Tori. We knew that would happen, as her story was left on such a cliffhanger after season 4, and the show came through on its premise. We got to see Tori tackle the problem of keeping the cheating of Silver a secret, and how it tore her apart. When she finally reconciled with Sam and joined her side, it was justice and tragedy all at once, as now it's known that she is not a legitimate champion. Still, her character arc this season was one of the best. The only other thing I have to say about season 5 is that while I thought the second half became darker for the better, I still think Silver should have killed Chosen. Of course, I didn't want to see Chosen die, but it would have been a powerful, tragic moment. Only hours before, Chosen confessed his feelings for Kumiko to Johnny, and ripping that away through his death right before he could resolve that would have been a gut punch that would legitimize the danger and stakes of the show. Instead, Chosen was okay in the end, and while I don't mind that, I just hope this doesn't make it feel like there's no danger in the show to any named characters thus taking away from the stakes. But overall, once we hit the halfway point of Cobra Kai Season 5, I love this season. The beginning was a bit shaky, but so many characters developed and so many storylines resolved and moved forward 
I can't say I didn't enjoy it. I thoroughly enjoyed Cobra Kai Season 5. So guys, let me know in the comments below what you thought of Cobra Kai Season 5, and feel free to comment as many spoilers as you want, since it's a spoiler-filled video. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here, I would love to have you, and like always, I will see you next time.